um, today I want to talk about this thing that it has to do with don't build like don't build walls, not building walls in your life. And uh, I just took a trip out to uh, to Nashville, Tennessee. Any of you guys who are out there, man, uh, sending love to you guys from California. I'm glad you guys came out at a good time. I'm not gonna lie, it's a good time out there, folks. And uh, and here's what happened. I had these interesting conversations. Good morning, Yvonne and Lorena. Um, we got a whole bunch of people coming in. Good morning, good morning to you all. Like I hope you're having a phenomenal day. It's a little chilly out here, but I got my outside workout in uh, 45 minutes. And I don't know what it was. I was squatting heavy on Thursday, but my back is killing me. Um, it says the real the real Shad Hunt. How you doing, man? Uh, we got I think it says Chadwick. I can't say the whole thing. Good morning to you, Sarai Kalandi, uh, Shiona Mission. Hello, hello. Uh, was it Tara Bert Bertzel? Hey, 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 good morning. I, it's hard to read your names as they move. My apologies. I'm not trying to like uh, to butcher the name anyways. But today, let's talk about this. I had this conversation with somebody. I'm not going to say their name, obviously. Hey, from Denver. How you doing? Hi, from Denver, from Denver. But here was what took place. The conversation was like, hey, I had a situation where uh, 17 years ago, my, uh, and this is a true story. I am not going to give you the person's true information. 17 years ago, this person had a situation where their spouse cheated with their best friend. Um, and man, like it hurts my heart to hear that. Like I get it. Like they're, they're literally 17 years ago, a spouse cheated with with the best friend. And it wasn't. I'm not obviously going to give you any details, but I want to. I want to share with you the heart of humanity. This happens. This happens. Unfortunately, it happened in my marriage. Eartha Thomas, how you doing? Dorinda, Angela, good morning. Robin, um, you know, I had a situation where something took place where someone cheated on me. Like this. This happens in life. There's actually websites. This is the crazy thing. There's a website called Ashley Madison designed for this. Like. That's how big and prevalent it is in our society. Now, I'm not saying that it's okay, it's a good thing, because you know I do not believe that, but this is a reality we have to, act to manage. But here's what took place from that. And if you ever had something where someone betrayed you, man, you get this. Like, it's gonna hit, it'll make sense. The thing is, is like all of a sudden, these two people that were heavy, heavy, deep in this person's heart in their life, all of a sudden, this betrayal takes place, and now, like, you don't want anybody in. This person's like, I don't want anybody in. I don't do emotions, I don't deal with it, it hurts too much, it's too messy. That was the word. It's too messy. I was like, damn, that's true, right? I get it, right? I understand this. And here's the thing that's crazy. It's like this person still has a love for both people, both. And you're probably like, what do you mean? Well, it's human. It's hard to not, not love somebody that you've known for a long time, you got deep with and connected to. Like, it's tough to all of a sudden have someone that betrayed you, like, like, like not care about them. Like, you have a love for them. And to be honest, hate in and of itself, the concept of hate has a love within it. If not, you wouldn't even care. The reason you hate so much is because of the care there, and that's why it hurts. It's like, ah, I care about you, and you hurt me. Ah, right, you want to punch me in the face, so do worse, right? People do, they do worse. But here's what I want you to get to this level of conversation. They kind of see if this makes sense. The problem is that she walled people off. All of a sudden, this massive wall goes up. This wall goes up, and no one gets in. Nobody gets into your wall. When you got hurt, you got betrayed, you don't let anybody come in that wall. You're like, you know what? I don't feel like experiencing that ever again. So therefore, I'm just gonna close the whole shop down. Nobody gets in. I'm not having that. I would much rather cut all the things out than have any of that pain come in. And oh man, is this wrong? I'm telling you, it's the wrong way to do things. Because here's the thing. You're a human being built on relation. You want connections. You desire that. We're, we're built to communicate, to connect with people. We are. I'm telling you, it's how we are built. That's why this exists. Think about all the most like, common things we have that people love. Social media, connecting with people. Traveling on planes, connecting with people, right? Meals, foods, connecting with people. We all do it together. It's why this restaurant's designed where you eat by yourself in the woods all the time, right? The idea is we like and love people. But when you put that wall up, Man, you miss out on so many things because when you go put a wall up to keep out the bad, you also are keeping out all of the good. And I know what this feels like. I grew up in foster care. I didn't have trust. I let nobody in. Nobody was going to get a chance to come in here and hurt like my mom did. Not like, there's no way it's happening. You know, I'm not going to let anybody hurt me. Therefore, you all get to stay on that side over here and I'm going to stay on this side over here. I'm not going to deal with you. I'm not going to have you come in my life. I don't want it, right? But I want you to think about the simple concept and this metaphor. This wall goes up. Everybody's the outside of it. And I know when I was a kid, you know, I say kid, I was younger, right? We used to all go to the club. Like you go to the club, the nightclub, the, the, the party, whatever you want to call it, right? But I want you to think about this at a real nightclub, the best nightclubs in the world. Man, people want to go, they want to hang out. You want to party and hang out, right? That's what we all want to do. I want you to consider yourself for a moment like a nightclub. Yes, we're going to call it like a nightclub Kate Denny, whatever it's, that's Kate's name over here, I'm noticing, or Eartha Thomas, you know, nightclub at night 36 in Uptown, Wisconsin. I don't know if they have clubs in Wisconsin, I made a guess. I, I'm assuming they probably do. They have to have some. Everybody's a nightclub, right? But think about this. You're a nightclub and you want people to come hang out at the nightclub, 
right? You want people to be part of your party, right? We all want people to be part of the party, right? Why not? Come hang out, be in my nightclub. Come hang out in here, right? Well, imagine this. This nightclub, shining lights, it's bright and amazing. People want to come hang out. They want to be at this nightclub. And all of a sudden, they show up to the nightclub, and the bouncer outside says, uh-uh, nobody gets in. There's no VIP. There's no guest list. I'm, the door is locked. You can't come in anyways, right? Do you think people will continue to keep coming to the club? No. Do you think the club inside is enjoyable if no one's inside partying? No, right? We put that wall up. It's like you saying, hey, I'm the bouncer outside of my club. None of you get in. Go somewhere else. And guess what they do? They go somewhere else. And now your nightclub gets lonely. Nobody comes in anymore. No one hangs out. And this is what happens whenever you get to the point of cutting all humans out of your life because one human, two humans did something crazy. Hell yeah, it sucks and it hurts. Man, I get this, right? I understand. But here's what I want you to think about as a way to navigate letting people back into your life and experiencing the joy of humanity because you do want humans in your life. You want good ones, though. You want honest ones. You want the right ones. But here's how it looks. Imagine if for a second you've been letting people in. And they come into the nightclub and you're like, man, this is what you need. Let them into the nightclub. And all of a sudden, someone did something crazy. They, they got in fights inside and they went crazy. Well, here's the thing that you have failed to comprehend. And this is a reality. Is the nightclub bouncers can improve. Every time someone crazy comes in, they get more of an inkling of what a crazy person looks like. So if some girl comes with her, her lipstick up the side of her cheek like, hey, <laughs> you might want to go clean that off, honey. Had a few too many drinks. Like, you might, you can't come in the club. There's a little bit of something off that you care. And like, ah, don't come inside here, right? You know. You've seen it enough times to know this chick is crazy. Or the guy that comes in with, like, his nipples all out in a tank top. Like, bro, put a jacket on, man. You ain't going to do all that. It's a nightclub. It's cold outside. It's Wisconsin. Can you go get some clothes on, bro? Right? The idea is you get a feel for, like, who's coming and going. And you can let them in. But here is what so many people fail to understand and comprehend. Here's the one piece that if you get this piece, you can put a, a door inside this wall you might have built in your heart. When you have someone go into the club, the club also has a bouncer with a flashlight. Think about it. Every club you go to, there's a guy walking around big and maybe not, not smiling, but he has this old flashlight, right? He's looking at people. What is he doing? He's checking and seeing how people operate inside. And if somebody acts up, what does he do? He takes them to the door and he throws them out of the club, right? Simple. Go to the door, get them out the club, man. You can't come hang out here anymore. Simple. Now, here's what I want you to realize. That person that kicks him out, he goes to the first bouncer and says, hey, you can't let somebody in like that. This dude did X, Y, and Z, or she was acting like this, this, and this. Oh, I got it. I won't let that kind of person in next time, right? So now what happens, you progress into your life and say, you know what? I'm going to start letting more people in. I'm going to put this door in the wall because the bouncer at my front door has a clearer picture of the kind of person that doesn't fit inside. And if you act a little funny at the front door, you get to come hang out with me, man. You get to, you know, no, I'm sorry. I, I, I'm glad you want to go to the club, but you ain't on the VIP list. You don't know anybody, and you can't, you can't even pay to get in here because you're going to mess up the inside. And what happens is the bouncer at the front gets a little more keen, a little more, like, a little more clear on what to allow in and not let in. That's you knowing the kind of person you want in your life and don't want in your life. You'll just know at the front. Trust the gut. Trust the gut. If somebody acts a little funny, like, hey, you can't come in here. You got to go and let them disappear out to, the, to go find some other club to hang out in. But if you do let people in, here's the reality. A percentage of them will act up still. A percentage will do the wrong thing, act a little funny, they'll be a little off. But you also have a bouncer inside who's more aware and all they got to do is say, look, I don't give second chances. You don't get a second chance to hurt me. You come in, you do something crazy, you're kicked out of the club and guess what you get to do? Watch everybody else hang out at my party. It's your loss. I've had people who have wronged me many times in my life. It is their loss in life. I'm sorry. I'm a phenomenal human. I love how I love on humans. I love how I show up. I am a great friend. I follow through. I might forget birthdays every once in a while. I'm not perfect. I'm not a perfect friend, but I'm a great friend, man. So if you get into my, my ecosystem, I let you into this ecosystem of who I am, you had better not mess it up or it's on you. That's not, it's not a me thing anymore. I, I just know, hey, you're not the right person. So you messed up, which means come in a club, act right. Have fun. Have fun. Be, be boisterous. Be, I want you to have fun in here, man. Hang out. Let's have a couple drinks of some, you know, Pepsi and maybe you want some alcohol. Dance a little bit. Be nice. Be gracious. Hold doors. Pin up after yourself. Take care of this club like you want to come back to it again, right? Be good and I'll be good to you. But if you mess up, that is your loss, your fault. You get out of here. Sorry. So what it allows me to do is experience great humans. Now, for every maybe 100 people I let in, they're partying it up. And that one person... They're kicked out. But guess what? 
I got 99 amazing people in my nightclub, in my life. I didn't let that one person who hurt me one time lock the front door and put chains around it. So as I'm telling you this message today, I'm telling you, man, let people in, but be clear on who you're letting in because of past experiences and remove them quickly. Remove them so fast that you, nobody else even will, but I hope it actually does because we all have people in our lives that have hurt us. We've all been betrayed in some capacity. Could have been a past boyfriend, girlfriend, uh, teacher, coach, parent. Could have been a great friend. Right? It doesn't matter who it was. We've all been betrayed in some capacity. And what we always kind of fail to realize is we like that connection. This person, going back to the beginning, this person still loves that human, which means they want that relationship. If you had it in the first place, if you at some point had a great connection, your heart wants that connection. You remember the good parts of it. You're just afraid of the pain. But I'm telling you, the positive, the joy will always outweigh that pain. And you don't want to have regret at some point in time for not having great, amazing joy simply because of one idiot who you could have kicked out of the club a long time ago. And you would have learned better to let better people in in time. So, man, go out into the, to your world today and open up the doors to your nightclub, man. Put the lights on, pump some music, get a promoter to put some flyers out. I don't know what that looks like to you. I'm just making some stuff up right now. But I truly pray, I pray that you actually do something amazing. If you want another awesome video in our Black Excellence series, check out the video right there next to me. I think you'll enjoy it. Continue to believe, and I'll see you there.